When you've completed animating, most of the time, because of performance issues, you cannot see the final animation in the viewport. Whether it's a heavy scene with animated objects or a heavy fire simulation, which you want to see the behavior of the flames before rendering the final animation. So before the final render, you need to preview the animation. For example, here in this scene, if I play the animation, you can see it's not possible to see the animation in the viewport. So let me stop it. I will go to the tools and in the preview grab viewport, we have two options. One of them is the default 3ds Max tool for creating preview animation, but I will use the type preview for creating preview because the default one doesn't support the MP4 format and the AVI is so heavy that I refuse to use it. So I will go to the tool, preview, and then create type preview. There are different sections here, but we just need some of them. The first one you need to change the frame range. Right now it's set to active time segment, which will be the segment from 0 to 200. We can also change it to custom and change the numbers, but I will use the active one. And here in the resolution, you can choose the resolution of the output. As you can see, it's 100 and in front of it, the resolution is written and it's equal to the resolution in the render setup, which is right now set to 2K. If I increase it, for example, to 50%, it will decrease the resolution. And I can also change it by custom numbers here. I will change it to 100, okay. Here you can choose between the MP4 format and the image sequence, which you can choose from different image formats like JPEG, PNG, TIFF. But usually I use the MP4 and click here and browse. I can change the location to save my preview. Click on save and here we can see different types of filters and they will filter the unwanted parts from your preview. For example, particles or grid, and they will be hide in the final preview. And last one, here you can choose one, two, or scene light. Usually one light works the best. And change this one to standard, and this one to default shading. This one is usually unticked. Enable the anti-aliasing for smoother edges and that's it click on preview and here you can see it will start creating preview if you want to stop it you can hit the escape button if it doesn't work hit several times and this will pop up you can click on don't stop and it will again continue creating or you can click on the stop and play and it will pop up and show you the preview until the point you've stopped it. Okay, let me recreate it again. And here's the result. Let's switch to another example. Here I've made the fire simulation and you can see it's not possible to see it in the viewport. So again, I will go to the tools, preview, create type preview, change the time segment to active, resolution to 100, format to MP4, and change it to... All right, standard, default, anti-aliasing, and create. In order to use type preview, you have to install Typeflow. I will put the link for you in the description. And if you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell button. And I will see you in the next one.